Shalom, giving honor and praise unto the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth. My name is Yishai Yisrael of the tribe of Don, of the nation of Israel. I want to show this here. Holy Bible. Part on the top of that. King James Version. Large print. Compact Bible. Just want to show this right here. Okay, this is the book I'll be reading from. This is how the Old Testament is shown. Old Testament. Now, here is how the New Testament is shown. The New Testament of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Again, I show for reason and purposes the spirit or the genre of this Old Testament. And here, the New Testament of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That shows us that in this book here, called Holy Bible. They don't even address it by saying the Old Testament. The word of the Lord, the word of the prophets, the law, the prophets and the writings, don't, they don't say that. Just Old Testament. Yet once it comes down to the New Testament, not only is it called the New Testament, it actually shows in a possession of as the same went our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ saved from what what did he save one from let's go in the letter or the epistle of Galatians we want to go to Galatians chapter 3 it to be read in this case Galatians chapter 3 we're going to start in verse 13 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree now in Matthew Jesus is given to the Romans to be crucified, to be put to death. According to brothers and sisters who are messianic, Jesus' death or Jesus' death was the great sacrifice for the nation of Israel. There's a couple of things if one understands the Torah or one understands the laws that this book here simply cite as Old Testament that we want to go over. Let's go, if you will, to Deuteronomy chapter 15. Deuteronomy chapter 15, we want to start in verse 21. And it says this, And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind or have any ill blemish, thou shalt not sacrifice it unto the Lord thy God. This tells us that any sacrifice that is done has to be without blemish. Now, if Jesus was beaten if he had stripes, if he had the crown of thorns or thorns on his head, if he was cut on his side and was made to bleed, 
That's a blemish. That is not what you are to offer in that regard. The lamb that is offered, also we want to point out for a sin offering, in Israel is never a male lamb. Female lamb, yes. Male lamb, no. So, let's go, if you will, to Leviticus chapter 22, verse 25. And it reads on this. Leviticus chapter 22, verse 25, says the following. Neither from a stranger's hand shall you offer the bread of your God of any of these because their corruption is in them and blemishes be in them they shall they shall not be accepted for you this right here is telling us from a stranger's hand that is to say from the hand of a person that is not an Israelite you cannot offer that unto the most high you have to be self-sufficient to have your own So now, if we take the understanding and the teaching of the Gospels that the Israelites said as Jews delivered Jesus to Pontius Pilate to be crucified and that was to be said as the great sacrifice for the atonement of Israel's sins. If we are not, according to the law, in Leviticus, supposed to offer anything to the Most High from the hand of the foreigner. Since when was it right to offer anything or anyone to the hand of the foreigner for our sin offering? Let's read this again. Leviticus chapter 22, verse 25. Neither from a stranger's hand shall you offer the bread of your God of any of these because their corruption is in them and blemishes be in them, they shall, they shall not be accepted for you. So there is no way within the law of the Most High. The thing that we're supposed to use is our base. See, when people say such and such is or is not Torah based, the base of something is the base of something. That's what you're based on. That is what your foundation, the base of a building, the basement, the foundation of something. Well, within Israel, it's supposed to be the Torah. So if you're not Torah based, if your foundation is not in the Torah, then what is it in? So getting back as we will, brothers and sisters, into this particular aspect, it says that we're not supposed to offer the bread To the most high that come from the hand of a foreigner. So I ask again, not to be redundant, when in the law of the most high was it acceptable or correct to offer that which is already blemished or not blemished from the hand of an Israelite to the hand of a foreigner for a foreigner to make the atonement offering for us? Never was that the order. Never was that the decree from the Most High. This is why it is important to understand certain things. Okay? So, just wanted to present that, brothers and sisters, shalom.